hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x plus x divided by x is equals to x and we solve this problem for all the values of x or in other words we find all the roots of this equation so here there are many methods to solve this problem but here we discuss this question for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods uh, but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here in uh, the very first thing we are going to do is in the first method uh, here first we need to move this x to the right hand side uh, so when we move this x to the right hand side it will be written as x plus x is equals to this x is multiplied by x and further in the next step uh, here we know that when two variables are uh, same like terms are added by each other then we add the coefficients of their terms so the coefficient of this term is one and the coefficient of this term is also one so this is equals to two times of x is equals to here we have x multiplied by x and x times of x is equals to x squared and now here in the next step now we need to move this 2x to the right hand side and it will be written as x squared this is plus 2x when we move in the right hand side it will becomes minus 2x and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further in the next step so now here in the next step you see here uh, both of these terms involve x so that we will take common x from here and when we take common x then we will get here uh, from here we get 1x minus from here we get 2 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now uh, we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 2 is equals to 0 so here this is the, our first root of the given equation and from here we get the value of x is equals to 2 and this is the our second root of the given equation so here in first method we get these two roots uh, and now here in the next step uh, we need to verify these two roots and we check that is these two roots are satisfied our uh, given question statement or not so uh, the verification of these roots we need to copy down the given question statement here it is x plus x divided by x is equals to x this is the over given question statement uh, and now we put the value of uh, we put both of the above values of x here and now here in this side or in this case we put the value of x equals to 0 and in this case we put the value of x is equals to 2 so uh, here uh, first we put this value of x equals to 0 on both of the sides and we check the behavior of this equation and you see here we have this is uh, 0 plus 0 divided by 0 is equals to 0 we put the value of x equals to 0 on both of the sides and you see here this is 0 over 0 is equals to 0 and here uh, our uh, you clearly see that uh, 0 over 0 is uh, denoted by 0 over 0 is called the indeterminate form or undefined form it means that uh, this is indeterminate form or this cannot gives us the uh, same answer so these two sides are cannot be equal because this will becomes here uh, undefined value okay so this is undefined if this is undefined is equals to 0 this is not possible this means that we will just uh, reject it at this case because for x equals to 0 uh, is not satisfied our given equation so here we can just write that uh, x equal to 0 be the uh, is not the solution of the given equation okay so x equal to 0 is not the solution and now here in the same pattern we will check the value of x equals to 2 and now we put this value of x equals to 2 into the given question statement and now uh, after substituting this value we will get here this is 2 plus 2 divided by 2 is equals to 2 and you see here 2 plus 2 becomes 4 over 2 is equals to 2 and here we need to cancel this term this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we will get here 2 is equals to 2 so this shows that 
the value of x is equals to 2 is satisfied our given question statement so uh, in first method uh, we have this is the only one solution of the given equation and the second one x equal to 0 is not satisfied so it is not solution it is the extraneous root of the given equation so here we in other words we just say that this is not solution but this is the um, extraneous uh, root of the given equation okay so it is the extraneous root so now here uh, we move forward uh, in towards the second case or second method uh, and now here in second method uh, we again copy down the given question statement here the given question statement is x plus x divided by x is equals to x so this is the our given question statement and now here in the second method uh, we just break this fraction and when we break this fraction then you get here x over x and plus here we have x over x is equals to this is x and now you see here this x is cancelled out by this x and here we will get only 1 and plus in the same pattern this x is cancelled out by this x and here we get only 1 is equals to x and 1 plus 1 becomes 2 is equals to x so this is uh, the value of x which we get here in second method and here in the first method we already verify x equals to 2 and we know that x equals to 2 is satisfied our given question statement so uh, this is the solution of the given equation and i hope so uh, you like both of these methods but uh, if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos